Hey guys, Jess here with Airbnb Hosting for Beginners, and I wanted to jump in and actually make a more personalized video um, sharing with you all how I got to the point where I am now as a super host who's been hosting on Airbnb for about three, almost four years. I would still consider myself a new host because I don't think that three or four years is that long. I know a lot of Airbnb hosts who have been doing it for much longer, um, but I wanted to kind of share my backstory because I realized I've never actually done that. Um, I've never shared it here on YouTube or if you're watching within the Facebook group, um, it's just something that I've never really opened up about. So I'm gonna keep this, this video pretty short and sweet and to the point, but I did wanna kind of give a more personalized approach so that you understand me, feel like you know me a little bit better. Um, so let's just jump into it, guys. Um, I'm sure as a lot of you are, are kind of on this Airbnb journey your, yourselves, you've noticed a lot of people online making a ton of money. You've read the articles, you've seen the headlines, you maybe know someone who's an Airbnb host, um, but you're kind of wondering, okay, is that possible for me? How much money can I actually make? Um, so, uh, you know, a long time ago, this was, I think it was 2021, it could have been 2020, I'd have to actually check the calendar, but um, I'd been kind of debating putting my house on Airbnb for maybe a few months. I'd seen that people were making a lot of money, but again, I had a lot of hesitations with safety and what kind of guests I was gonna get. And you know, this is a house that I built myself with my own bare hands. So it did give me a little bit of worry or uneasiness, um, you know, putting it up on Airbnb. I just didn't really know what to expect. Um, but I was going out of town, so I figured out how to do it, and I walked through the process, and I set up my house. Um, and I will say there are a couple factors that I think have contributed to my success on Airbnb um, when it comes to property location, property type. Um, you know, it's it's a unique build. It's a tiny house. So there's a lot of different factors that I think ha have helped me um, and helped have, have success, but I'll share more about that if you guys are interested or if you want a tour of my property. Um, just comment below that you want a tour and I'm more than happy to give it. Um, but so I was curious, right? And I ended up going out of town for Thanksgiving weekend and I just put my house up to see what would happen. Uh, well, I didn't expect it to get booked twice in that weekend. So it was a long weekend over Thanksgiving. It got booked for two nights by one couple and then a back-to-back -back night um, or, you know, back-to-back -back stays, I guess. So uh, I was out of town and I was like, wow, this, you know, I wasn't expecting it to get two bookings, so I had to figure out how to get a cleaner in here with me being out of town, and that was a whole mess because I didn't know how to do any of that. Um, and so anyway, so I made more that weekend just from this one house, and I wasn't even here, but I made more that actually covered my trip. Um, it covered the cost of my travel, and I was out skiing, so it covered all my lift tickets, all my gear, you know, the whole weekend. Um, so I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. <laughs> so. After that, just because I had such a good experience, I had great guests, they were clean, they kept the property in good shape, they communicated well. Um, I really just had such a great experience, I decided to continue with it. So anytime I was out of town or traveling, which I do pretty often, um, and even sometimes like when there was a big uh, football game down here in the city, or any type of event that was close by or that people would maybe be traveling to, I just would put my house up as available and that's how I started getting some traction. Um, there's been a lot that I learned along the way as far as safety. Um, yes, guys, I've had safety issues. I've had bad guests. I've experienced it all. I've had messy guests. I've had great guests. I've had people visiting from other countries. I've had businesses you know, wanting to make a partnership for their employees. Um, I've, I've had people here, all types of people. I've, I've met the people that have come here. I've had coffee with some of them. Um, I had one guy go outside and fly his drone around and get great quality photos of my house, which was awesome. So, you know, the, the opportunities there for you to make money on Airbnb and meet people, um, you know, are very much still there. I know a lot of people worry, is Airbnb kind of old news? Can you still make money? Um, so this is just kind of me sharing my experience. Um, again, that's how I started and started getting into Airbnb and then I've been doing it, um, you know, since 2020 or 2021, um, so about three or four years now. Um, again, I've had highs and lows, I've had success, I've had great guests and I've had bad guests. So if you guys wanna learn more about the specifics as far as any of my bad guests or what I've learned or safety precautions, 
Um, those are things that I love to talk about and share with new hosts because I think that it is so important, especially when you're doing something like I did. You're putting your property, um, something that you really care about, you know, online for essentially a stranger to come and stay in. Yes, you can make good money, but there are a lot of safety, um, you know, safety things, I guess, to take into consideration um, when it comes to that. So. Um, just in lieu of keeping this video short, I won't dive into all of that today, but I did wanted to give more of a backstory about how I got started. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to engage with this video, that would be great. It helps me grow the channel and it helps other people jump in as well. So, um, no matter where you're at on your Airbnb journey, please comment on this video below, share with me where you're at, what questions you may have, or if you would like to see a video about any other topic, just comment below. I'm more than happy to engage with you guys and help answer your questions more specifically. Thanks.